Hey you guys, been wanting to do this review for a while but hadn't been able to, um, kind of busy, hectic. I've uh, been on vacation this week, um, I'm out hunting on an island, and for those of you who don't know what an island is, the only way to get here is by boat. So I packed kind of light and a little foldable grill. I want to try it out, see how it does. Um, I brought some match light with me. Turns out match light ain't exactly a match light when it's been sitting in your carport for, this is December and that was July, six months. So, one of those little fuel tablets for the little camp stove, which I've been heating my beanie weenies up on, that come in handy, got it going good. So it's burning now. Anyway, here it is, it's made by the same company that the other stuff, um, it's Heritage, uh, UTS or something like that, the Ultimate Survival Gears, yeah. T T U S. So, uh, let's get it out and check it out. Um, looks like the only thing you can really uh, cook on it is hot dogs. I don't know if you'd be able to do a burger on it. And if you flip it upside down, you might. Um, there's no instructions. Just a picture on the back of a dude cooking bratwurst, which I don't have bratwurst. I got um, smoked sausage. But uh, anyway, that's it. And from the looks of it. You just set it on top of the coals, and uh, that little, let's see, and this little wire screen here just kind of protects everything, you just kind of set that on top of the coals, and we'll fold it out, it folds up like that, I don't really see anything to kind of lock it, I mean it folds out just like that, I mean I get my, I guess it'd be okay. It's not folding back down. This little tab in the back seems to lock everything in place. So, yeah, you. I guess you'd sit that on top of your coals like that and you cook your hot dogs on top. I think that's about the only thing you'll be able to cook on this is hot dogs. Um, you might be able to do a hamburger, but I don't know. You could probably flip it upside down and do one, but then the handle wouldn't work for you. The handle only works that way. I got a glove because it looks like it's going to get hot. So I'm going to let our coals heat up and uh, I'll bring you back in a little bit. Alright, well our coals are mostly ready. Um, so I'm going to get started. We need to start dropping my stuff in the sand. Alright, see how I got it. I just set the smoke sauce the smoke sausages on top of the rack. See if we can do this without dropping it in the sand. We're just gonna set it right on top of the coals like that. I wouldn't recommend doing this without a glove or something, but I'm just gonna let them sit right there and cook for a little while. See how well it does. I wouldn't put more than maybe three on there. But two seems to be working good. I think two would be fine. Like I said, this is if you're by yourself. I mean, I wouldn't be cooking for a whole family on this thing, that's for sure. Um, these are fully cooked, so all I just got to do is heat them up. Um, but if you had a big fire, you could just rake your coals out of the fire and, and just set it right on top of it. I think it's going to work good. And we'll give them a few minutes on that side, and we'll check them out and flip them over. All right, so we've been going about five minutes. And I'm starting to hear some hissing, so... Heating up pretty good. See if we can do this without knocking my stuff in the sand. Camera in the fire. You can still see what I'm doing. Just lift this up. Probably just easier to do it by hand. Yeah, it's not too terribly hot. It's heating them up pretty good, I guess. Better than a cold one. That's for sure. Give them a few minutes on this side and we'll rotate them again. You can probably make toast on that. Set you a can of beanie weenies on there. I mean, it's probably got a lot more uses than just this. Actually, I could see you setting a can of uh, a can of whatever you wanted to heat up. You set that on top of your fire and then set your can on top of that. You could do that. Well, I just kind of turn them sideways to kind of give a little bit more even, even heat. Um... It's starting to the uh, uh, it's starting to cook all the way through. As you can see, the juices are starting to come out there, and it's it's warm to the touch. I said these are pre uh, fully cooked already, so all I'm just heating them up. It's not important. I cook these all the way through, 
Um, what I would do, if I were to do this again, which I will, is I'd get me a rock and put it under each corner and then put my coals and then set that on the rocks um, so I'm just not sitting on top of the coals. I think that would work out just a little bit better. But here, as you can see here, it's just it's sand. And, uh, yeah, I think I just got sand on my food. But uh, there's no rocks here, just seashells, and that's not going to work very good. So, anyway, but it's working. I mean, it's, it's, it's working. Kind of glad I bought this one. All right, now we're going to flip them again. Whoops. Yeah, see, that's why I talk about the rocks. I would definitely try to yeah, put some rocks or something under it to steady her up. And we'll give it about five more minutes and I think they'll be ready to eat. I don't know if I'd be cooking bratwurst on this bad boy, but uh, some pre-cooked sausages, some hot dogs to warm them up. Yeah, maybe a can of beanie weenies sit on top of there or a can of soup. I think this works better than that stove, actually. No, I'm gonna give you five more minutes, and then we're gonna check them again. They'll be done. Can you hear them? I think they're done. They're good and swelling up. Got juice coming out of them all the way around. Yeah, buddy. All right, we're gonna take them off, and put them on a paper plate, and we're gonna go eat them. Now you gotta make sure. If you're at deer camp, that you use your gutting, skinning, and be boning knife to eat your food with. It's the only way to do it. Anyway, there's the stove, or the, the grill. As you can see, it's all heated up. I'm going to set this aside, let it cool, and I'm going to kick dirt over top of that to put it out. Um, you know, when I get home, I'll clean this up in the, in the stove, but the handle didn't even get hot. The handle's not hot. I was worried that that handle would get too hot to hold, but it's it's not hot at all. Um, I'm sure if I cooked longer, had a bigger fire, it would be hot. But that, I mean, that right there, plenty to do what I did. Was that one, two, three, four, five, six, seven coals? Was perfect to uh, heat those two sausages up. Anyway, this is it right here. I got it off of cheaperandirt.com. That's where I ordered all that stuff from. I think it was like four and a half, five bucks. It may have been eight bucks. I mean, it was under ten dollars. I know that.